Joey Chestnut set the world record in 2008 for the most hot dogs eaten when he ate 74 hot dogs in just 10 minutes during a hot dog eating competition. That's over 21,000 calories in hot dogs. Love them or hate them, hot dogs are a favorite among Americans. When I was little, I used to love to put them in my SpaghettiOs. I recently learned that there's an entire organization dedicated towards hot dogs called the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council. This council reported that Americans eat over 20 billion hot dogs per year. That's over 60 hot dogs per person. When I learned this, I was kind of skeptical because that seems like a lot of hot dogs. So I decided to do a little bit of digging on my own. All right, so this is the data that I collected from the middle school staff and asked them the question, how many hot dogs would you estimate that you ate in a year? So just to be clear, it is an estimation, it's not exact, um, but we do call this set of data a sample because I wasn't able to ask and get a response from every single staff member at the middle school. So it's called a sample because it's representing a population, but it doesn't include everybody. When we look at a data set, there are lots of ways that we can start to summarize the data. Today, we're gonna look at the mean, median, mode, and range when we think about data. The mean is found when we take the sum of two or more pieces of data and then divide by the number of pieces of data that we have. So this is really like finding your average. So the first thing that we're gonna to need to do for this data set is add all the numbers together. All right, when I add them all together, I get a final sum of 537.3. Okay, so that's the sum of all of them. I was able to get information from 30 different staff members. So that means that I'm going to take 537.3 and I'm going to divide it by 30 to get a mean of 17.91. Okay, it is important when you're finding the mean to include zero. So you'll see up here I have several places where people said that they ate zero hot dogs in a year. I do need to include those to find the actual mean. The median is a measure of central tendency used to find the piece of data that's found right in the middle when you order the numbers from least to greatest. So this data set right now is not in the order from least to greatest, but we'll go ahead and get it in order so that it's easier to work with. Once we've ordered the data from least to greatest, you can simply start by crossing off the smallest amount and then the largest amount all the way until you get to the middle. As you can see here, if I were to cross off the next lowest and the next highest, I would have nothing left. So right now, I have the numbers 10 and 12 right in the middle. So in order to find the median in this case, since there's not one singular number there, I need to find the average or the mean of these two, which means that I'm going to add them together, and then I'm going to divide by 2 because there are two numbers. So I have 10 plus 12 is 22, and then I'm going to divide by 2, so my median is going to be 11. The mode is the number that simply appears the most often in your set of data. So you need to go through and see how many times each number appears. Um, for this one, I do notice that I have zero written four times. There are also other sets of data that are repeated as well. There are multiple 30s and multiple 20s, but because zero is repeated the most number of times, the mode is going to be zero. It is possible to have multiple modes. So if I had another number that was also repeated four times, we could have a mode of zero and a mode of 20. The range is most often used to describe how spread apart our data is. So we need to take the largest number and subtract the smallest number. In this data set, our largest number is 50 and our smallest number is zero. So we're actually gonna take 50 minus zero to get a range for this data set of 50. So as you can see, there are lots of different ways that we can measure the central tendency of data. But a lot of times the question becomes, which one is the best one to represent the data? And that kind of depends on the situation. If you were trying to purchase hot dogs for a school picnic, you might want to use the mean to make sure that there are enough hot dogs available for everybody. However, if you were looking at just the pure number of people that eat hot dogs, we had a lot of people who don't eat very many hot dogs. So with that median being closer to that side of zero, that might be a little bit more accurate because the median is just lining up people and picking out the very center person. All right, now it's your turn to practice. I've been looking at house prices, and here are some of the houses that I found in Pella. Go ahead and see if you can calculate the mean, median, mode, and range and answer them in the questions on the side.